word shape here. Okay, how am I going to centre that? Hands up. Okay, how do I centre it? Um, you click the centre button. And you see this one? And we're going to centre it. How do I grow the font and make it bigger to be a head? Now, we're in second class and the girls are giving out the iPads. And we're going to do some work on reading eggs today. And Elaine is going to plug in the, uh, in the wireless internet. And a sheep, a bee, a deer, and a sheep meet in the streets. The bee likes the deer, the deer likes the sheep. 
I need to feed the queen bee, said the bee. I need to get to a tree, said the deer. That's perfect. Now, this is an example of um, a sixth class pupil explaining some enabling technology to another pupil. So, we'll hear what you have to say. So, first, I'm going to take a picture of, of Sean's book. And if I hold it and slide down, it should read it back out. One day, Vicky, Ricky, and Billy were visiting Max's workshop. Max and Selma were busy. And it will read it up to me and I can do all, any book at any time really. And then all the apps I have is Pages, which comes on every new iPad. So you can choose any type of document. Um, so like anything to letters, to envelopes, business cards all sorts of things. And what will that do for you? It will make, like you can make envelopes with it, it will explain. And it is a typing app, so you can say, Hi, my name is Sean. And it will read it back out to you if you hit select all and speak. Hi, my name is Sean. And if you didn't know what a word meant, you could copy it and paste it into this app and and at the start, if you didn't know how to spell a word, it will put it, so you just tap there. And if you didn't know what chocolate meant, you would hit it, select, and defin define, which is definition. And it will give you the definition of the word, so it will do any definition of any word. Okay, so the first app you used was, was what, for the reading? And um, that was ScanPen. ScanPen, and do you find it good? Yes, I find it very helpful for my homework. Right, so you can scan your page, and then it will read it back to you. Sure. Excellent. What do you think, Sean? Good. You like that, you do? Uh -huh. That's good. So show me your resource scene. So what, how did you do that? What program are you using? Uh, P. Do you, you think it's good? Yeah. And how long did it take you to draw that? This took me five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Wow. And did you learn something new in it? Yeah. Could you have done it before the lessons? No. Excellent. And how are you getting on? Oh, that's lovely. We're doing the tortoise and the hare, so I I was picked to do the hare. It took me a long time. Lovely, though. Very nice. Thank you. Now, what did you do? Uh, oh, it's lovely. The, the, the mother in Jack and the Beanstalk, because we're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And she's in her pyjamas. <laughs> very good. And how long did it take you to do that? About five minutes. Yeah, it's not long. Enough. That's very good. Yeah, that's and did you <laughs> now, we also use the... Uh, iPads for maths games and to reinforce maths work done in class. So Sinead is going using it to play jet ski, a very popular game with second class. on tourism and a long-lasting effect on the ecosystem. Now over to our reporter, Debbie May. Thank you, Tom.
Tom, now I'm joined here by the Clarny National Park spokesperson, Liam Waldron, and Sergeant Laura O'Carroll. Liam, what do you think about this tragedy? Well, I think this could have a very large effect on the park's tourism because one of its main attractions are the lakes. Also, it will have a severe effect on the aquatic life, such as the rare canary salmon. What do you think? Where do you think the waste was originally dumped? Well, from the way it spread, I'd imagine it was dumped in the upper lake, which would make sense because there's also a wharf there that would easily have dumped the pollutants. Thank you, Leo. Laura, what do you think about this occasion? I think it is a very serious occasion, and we are very upset with whichever company did this to the lake. Thank you. What do you think we could do to help us? We may have to install a filter into the lakes to get rid of all this poison waste that we been put in. Thank you, Laura and Liam. Back to Tom in the newsroom. Thanks for that report, Debbie. This is Tom Knoblock, LTK News. Good night.